Francisco Arcellana, a.k.a. Franz, a writer, poet, essayist, critic, journalist, and teacher, is one of the most important progenitors of the modern Filipino short story in English. He was born in Santa Cruz, Manila on September 6, 1916. Francisco is the fourth of 18 children of Jose Arcellana y Cabanero and Epifanio Quino. Arcellana studied elementary and high school in Tondo, Manila, and completed a PhD degree at the University of the Philippines in 1939. He was a Rockefeller Foundation Fellow in Creative Writing from 1956 to 1957 at the University of Loa. The university offers one of the best creative writing programs in the United States. He also taught and held key positions at the Department of English and Comparative Literature, University of the Philippines Diliman, where he mentored Alfred Grip Yuson, John Botch Dalisay, Erwin Castillo, Charlson Ong, Mara P. Alanot, and Maylin Paterno Loxin. The author dual anthologized stories such as The Mats, The Flowers of May, How to Read, The Wing of Madness, Divide by Two, and A Marriage Was Made. Some of his work have been translated into Filipino, Malaysian, Italian, German, and Russian. One of his most distinguished achievements was his appointment as the first and the founding director of the UP Creative Writing Center in June 1979. He pioneered the development of the short story as a lyrical prose poetic form. For Asilana, the pride of fiction is that it is able to render truth that is able to present reality. It is real and rich is a fiction. Now, sabi niya, a life of fiction. Yeah. I'm actually suggesting that, that uh, for all I know, the life of fiction that I've been living is unreal. Arcelana kept alive the experimental tradition in fiction and had been most daring in exploring new literary forms to express the sensibility of the Filipino people. A brilliant craftsman, his works are now an indispensable part of a tertiary level syllabi all over the country. Sa anumang panahon ay ang muli, muli ipaalala sa atin ang kahulugan ng pagiging Pilipino. Ang namin laging ipagbunyi ang kagigingan at dala ng Pilipino. Mabuhay ang Pilipino. Flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. The Song of Solomon 2.12 The Voice of the Turtle In the afternoon, I waited at the hospital gate. There was a thin, fine rain falling. I shall tell her. I shall tell her with my own voice, I shall tell her. There was the sun shining, and there was the thin fine rain falling. Under the tall trees, the ground was dry. The rain was too fine and too thin, and the leaves too thick and too close together. I shall tell her. How will she know if I do not tell her? With my own voice, I shall tell her. I 
wait for you, ready to leap at you from every corner at every turn, gathered to spring at you from the shadow of every tree. This is an ambush, but I am not the assassin. I wait, not with a knife, but love, heavy, dripping in my hands. Close all open things, Lord. Open or close things. All those who have long received, let them give. All those who have long given, let them receive. All those too long apart, let them come together. All those too long together, sunder them. Let the wise be fools for once, Lord, and let the fools speak their minds. Affirm the long-denied Lord, who feel the unfulfilled.